Perhaps you better wait here. I'll be back in ten minutes. Ooh, it got so right in here. The light is lighting. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I did not expect this to be my first vlog of the year, but so it's been a bit of a morning over here. I just finished getting ready because this weekend is my birthday weekend. I turned 31 on Monday, so to celebrate, all I wanted to do was go buy books. Um, and I decided I want to go places I haven't gone before. So I'm going to New York with my best friend to go to two bookstores I've been really wanting to get to but haven't gotten to try out. So I need to go soon and head to the train so I can meet my friend in Jersey and then we can go to New York. I bought myself these New Balances as an early birthday gift to me, so I'm going to throw those on quickly. They felt super comfortable when I tried them on. So I feel like they'll be good walk around the city shoes. Um, and yeah, I don't know what books I'm going to get, but I know I want to leave there with something. So let's go get on train. Well, several trains. And let's go buy some books. Ten minutes. Ten minutes is a long time to be away Monday morning, March 18th, which means today is officially my birthday. I'm so glad lip gloss came back. It was such a vibe. This is the Tower 28 lip glosses and I like them a lot. But it is my birthday morning. But right now I'm going to take myself to a little solo birthday 
breakfast brunch situation at a restaurant that I really like in my neighborhood. Came back home to my apartment this morning so everything is also like very disheveled because I left in a rush to go catch my train so I can go to New York on Saturday. I haven't been back since Saturday but I just woke up feeling, I woke up at my dad's house with my sister feeling so good and grateful to like you know 31 years I'm still in this thing and that is a blessing because a lot of people cannot say the same so I want to just you know relax and rest today I took the day off of work so I could just like be and also recover from my weekend which is very extroverty but today I really just want to relax and like pour into me celebrate me and that is what the plan is so I just got dressed put on this little blue and white striped sweater and a pair of jeans and throw uh -huh gonna throw my sneakers back on they're so comfortable the new balances I got I'll link them and like pop them somewhere so you can see them again but they're the 725s 10 out of 10 like no break-in period they were pretty much comfortable as soon as I put them on so I'm gonna try to get a couple steps in also while I'm after I'm finished breakfast but I need to throw some things in a purse make sure I have a wallet because I'll be really embarrassing um and head to breakfast so let's go eat and people watch I'll probably bring a Kindle maybe a journal, jot down some birthday thoughts. Well, let's go. which was very very good hopefully you guys can hear me because it's windy and there's also construction because there's always construction but I'm gonna head home but first I'm gonna pop into Barnes & Noble because I'm pretty sure I get a birthday reward and I want all my rewards today <laughs> so maybe there's another book that I missed yesterday or Saturday whenever I was book shopping but I'm gonna go see what's good over there Alexa and my new podcast that we are launching this week, which is crazy. This is the only like worky thing I'm doing today though. After this, I will show you the books and we're relaxing. This has been such a great birthday morning. I I love it here. Oh, hey birthday girl. Oh, oh my gosh, hello. Hello, I promise I have not just been at this desk all day I have um did some things for the podcast I took a little walk again I redeemed another birthday reward shout out to Kava the bowl was delicious and I wanted to just hop on and wrap up the vlog and show you all the books that I have purchased in the last three days Amber from the edit situation here so something happened to my memory card and the final part of this vlog got the footage got messed up but luckily it was just a couple more minutes of me actually showing you all the books I got so we're gonna try this part again and here is my 
birthday weekend book haul. Let's start with the books that I picked up when I went to The Ripped Bodice in Brooklyn. First of all, I just want to say I've been waiting so long to finally go check out this bookstore and it met, if not exceeded, all of my expectations. I love how thoughtfully it's laid out. I love the decor. It's like it's like a little bookish girl, romance girly like haven and the staff was really friendly. It was like a good sized store so even though we were there on a crowded Saturday there was like room to get around, move around, look at books. Very cute. 10 out of 10. I'll definitely be back in the near future. So I ended up grabbing two books from The Ripped Bodice and funnily enough both books are pink. So first I got Happy Place by Emily Henry. First I just want to say I don't know who in big romance is trying to push this release new romance as hardcover agenda. Cut it out. It took me forever to bring this book home because it was first released in hardback and I'm just not going to read my romance in hardback. I'm not going to do it. Unlike most people I kind of am late to the Emily Henry train. Um, the first book I read from her was Book Lovers and I adored that book. I listened to it on audio and also read a little bit of the ebook. Um, and I want to get that one in paperback but I was really looking forward to Happy Place just because it sounds like the synopsis sounds like my kind of vibe and I'm so glad that it's finally out in paperback. I love that Emily Henry's paperbacks always kind of like match really well. The only other physical copy I own of hers is Beach Read but just look how nice the spines look together. But very happy to bring this one home. Very excited to have it. I also brought home um, This Could Be Us. I, went, I wanted to call it before I let go. This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. This is the sequel or a companion novel to Before I Let Go, which was one of my favorite books of 2023. I'm also just like really excited to see some of the career trajectory like boost she's had in the last few years like one of my favorite books by her reel is being made I think into either a movie or option for tv it's just exciting to see indie published authors get like the trad publish experience respect and accolades so shout out to Kennedy but I'm really excited for this one I thought before I let go was so well done and did such a good job of blending like a dramatic heavy plot with lightness and romance and sweet moments and intimacy so I'm really excited for this one for both books I've kind of gone in a little bit blind like I know the basics of the synopsis but I haven't looked at any reviews or done any deep dives but I know this one follows the main character Soledad who is a single mom and like her journey post-divorce to finding herself and love again so really excited shout out to the ripped bodice I ended up grabbing three books from Barnes and Noble making good use of my points and my birthday reward so we'll start with the one that I've already started and that is Waiting to Exhale by Terry McMillan I, I feel like I've watched this movie 700 times growing up and I never ever read the book and I'm really glad that I picked it up. I'm about like 90 pages in so far and if you love the movie I think that the writing from the book will probably work well for you because it's written in the same style that the movie is scripted. Um, this book follows four women in a friend group as they go through their like trials and tribulations of dealing with men and coming to like understand themselves in terms of relationship and finding like worth and love in romance um so definitely like not a romance more of a drama but such a good book I will say almost a, almost like 90 pages in um definitely like things that were cool in the 90s to talk about in books in very triggering ways are in this like the fat phobia is She's in there, but I'm still really enjoying the book. I also picked up In a New York Minute by Kate Spencer. Um, Kate is a co-host of a podcast I used to listen to pretty often called Forever 35. I haven't listened to it in a while, but um, I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed her. And yeah, I just also felt like, as you guys all know, I'm on my journey of working on my own novel. And sometimes it's just nice to read books almost as like, not just a book to enjoy, but almost for research. And this felt like a good one to read. It's set obviously in New York City. And this woman is on the subway. Her like dress gets caught in the train. A guy ends up coming to her rescue. It all gets captured on social. And they're kind of like forced into celebrity -dom because of that like social media explosion. I'm really excited for this one. I've actually had this one on my TBR for a long time. When I saw it in the store, I was like, gotta grab it. And I also love the cover. 
That is gorgeous. And last but certainly not least, I picked up Daisy Hates, which is the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe. This one follows our main character, Daisy. From what I understand about the series, the books alternate between Magnolia and Daisy. So I don't even know how much Magnolia will be in this second one. But basically, these books, this whole series is like Gossip Girl on speed set in the UK, which like injected into my veins. I I'm really excited for this one because I think where Magnolia's was more like she was definitely a Blair. Daisy is like a little bit of a darker character because her brother is like really involved in like rich people crime. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. He's like the the wealthy version of a mobster kind of and I think that her romance and like life drama will kind of also be a little bit in that world so I think this one will be a little bit darker than Magnolia Parks was but I'm excited to continue into the series. I really like Magnolia Parks. I don't think it's like a perfect book by any means, but like it's fun. And if you are a Gossip Girl fan, you will probably be into the series as well. That is all I have for this book haul and for this vlog. Hopefully this footage works. Stay with me, camera, please, please, please. And hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I had such a good birthday. I'm so excited for my 31st year on the planet and everything that is to come. Um, I will include links and any other info in the description, but if you have questions or anything, of course, drop a comment and I will get back to you. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will see you in the next vlog.